Okay. Um, have a nice day. I'll see you later. Wait, wait. Are you going to be home for dinner? Uh, no, I'm going out with Sam tonight. Sam? Who's Sam? Sam's my friend. Oh, is Samantha pretty? No,、uh, his name is Samuel, and he isn't pretty. Do I know him?、Uh, I don't think so. Oh, well, what does he do? Sam's a sculpture student at school. And where does he live? He lives in Notting Hill, Ladbroke Grove.、Mm. Mm. And where are you going tonight?、Uh, we're going to the pub. Okay.、Oh. Does Sam have a car? Yes, he does. Will he be driving tonight? No, he isn't. I'm taking my car. Well, please be careful. Of course I will. I'll see you later. Bye, Elena. Bye. He's the youngest in our family. I understand. You're a good sister. Well, thank you. You're very sweet. Um, where can I buy a coat? I know all the best shops. I I can't spend a lot of money.、Uh, how much is a coat? Don't worry about the price. We will find you a lovely coat. I'm an experienced shopper. <laughs> I'm very grateful to you for your help. Sweet girl. Now tell me, what size are you? Um, I am a size forty.、Uh, okay, I think that's a twelve here. I need a black、uh, coat in、um, uh, in wool. Yes. yes, yes. And what about shoes? What size shoe do you wear? I wear a size thirty-eight.、Uh, I think that's a UK size five. But I don't need shoes. <laughs>、oh, every woman needs shoes.、Oh. Lots of them. <laughs> Lots of them. <laughs> Now I'll call Betty. Betty,、hmm. my sister. She will want to come too. Oh, good. It will be nice to meet your sister.、Uh, does she look like you? Oh goodness, no, no. Betty has blonde, curly hair、hmm. and、um, dark eyes. Oh. Here we go. Betty, hi, sweetheart. Well, we have an emergency. My Spanish friend, Elena. She needs a new coat. Come over quickly. Okay, see you. <laughs> She'll be right over. <laughs> Hello there. Welcome back to your English lesson. Did you see the sitcom? In today's episode, Victor is going out for the evening, and Agatha is very curious about his friend. She always wants to have everything under control. Then the girls decide to go shopping. Hmm. I think Agatha is obsessed, don't you? Anyway, back to work. Let's look at what we are going to study today, shall we? Well, we are going to start with the plural of regular and irregular nouns. Apple, apples, but. Knife, knives. Then we are going to move on to the definite article the, the dog, the apple, and to the indefinite articles a and un, a dog, an apple. Finally, we will look at how to describe someone's physical appearance. I have brown eyes like my dad, and curly hair like my mom. So, are your brains ready to learn some English? I hope so. So, in English, it is very easy to make nouns plural. We just add an s. We say 
One boy, two boys. One table, two tables. One cat, two cats. In the sitcom today, Agatha said, I know all the best shops. Remember? Shops is the plural of shop. Easy, isn't it? But don't forget, we also have the plural of irregular nouns. Like child becomes children. Man becomes men. Woman becomes women. Look out for that one. The pronunciation is a little strange. Woman, women. Some nouns stay the same when they are singular and plural. The plural of fish is fish and sheep is sheep. Okay, let's look at the three articles now. We have the definite article, the, and the indefinite articles, a and un. So let's start with the. We can say the boy, the girl, the house, the garden. The always stays the same. It doesn't matter if the word that follows is feminine, masculine, singular, or plural. So we can say the girl or the girls. Then we have the indefinite article a. We use it if the word after it begins with a consonant. So we say a bike, a car, a boy, a banana. The other indefinite article un is used before words that start with a vowel, like an apple, an umbrella, an ice cream, an Irish boy. Now, do you remember in the sitcom how Agatha describes her sister Betty? Betty has curly blonde hair and dark eyes. Well, there are several ways we can describe people. Have a look at these old photos I brought with me. I haven't looked at them for a long time. Oh dear. Here's Tim, my cousin when he was a young boy. Tim has brown hair and dark eyes. <laughs> he was so cute. And here, here is my Aunt Marianne. She lives in a big house in the woods with four cats. <laughs> Aunt Marianne has short, straight hair and blue eyes. Well, I could do this all day. Anyway, to describe hair, we can say curly, wavy, straight, long, and short. Blonde, dark, red, just to name a few. And for eyes, we can say dark, light, blue, brown, and green. I'll give you another example. My best friend has curly red hair and green eyes. Can you describe your best friend? You can now. Anyway, that's all we have time for today. Thanks for working so hard. I'll see you next time. Bye. I'm exhausted. Me too. Shopping is a big job. Yes, it is. Shopping is very hard work. <laughs> Would you like a cup of tea? Um, can I have a cup of coffee, please? Coffee? Oh dear, I still haven't bought any coffee yet. Oh, it's okay. Tea is fine. Okay. Oh, try on your new things for me. Oh, okay.
Hello? Hello, who is this? Chong? Yes, this is Agatha Johnson. Elena. Hold on, please. I'll call her. Elena! Telephone! Hello? John? Yes, it is very nice here. Uh, you're back in London? Uh-huh. Yes, on Saturday night. Okay, okay. Bye. Who was that? Oh, John. He's back in London. He's staying uh, in King's Cross. Oh. Is he your boyfriend? Who, John? No, he's my classmate. Oh, how delightful. Uh, I think we will go to see a film on Saturday night. Oh. <laughs> that will be very nice for you. Mm-hmm. How old is Chong? He's 25. Is he married? No, he isn't married. Does he have any children? No, he isn't married. Oh, right. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> you did say he is single. Oh, come on. I want a fashion show. <laughs> Look at that gorgeous coat. Is it too small, too fluffy? It's perfect. Are the shoes too high? No, no, they're perfect. Uh, is the dress too low? No. Too tight? No. Darling, you look fantastic. Thank you. <laughs> My goodness, is that you, Elena? Hello. What are you doing home? Um, Sam isn't well. He has a cold. Oh, I'm sorry. Let's get something delicious for dinner. Mm -hmm. Huh? Takeaway? Yes. Fish and chips. <laughs> <laughs>Hi, everybody. Welcome back. We all know shopping can be very tiring, but poor Elena is completely exhausted after buying her new coat. What do you think? Do you like it? Hmm. Anyway, I hope that you aren't too tired for our English lesson and that you're ready to hear what we are going to study today. Today we are going to look at the interrogative form of the present simple with short answers. Do you like my necklace? <laughs> oh yes, I do. Dylan bought it for me in LA. It was the first present he bought me. Does Lady Coco, my cat, like uh, Buddy? Mmm, no, she doesn't. Then we will look at the months of the year. January, February, I'm sure you already know some of them. And finally, the numbers up to 30. To make questions in the present simple, we use the word do followed by the subject and the present simple of the verb. So, you speak becomes do you speak? You understand becomes do you understand? You remember becomes do you remember? Do you speak French? Do you understand English? Remember, however, that with the third person singular, we use does instead of do. Does Victor live in London? Does he live in London? Does Elena live in Madrid? Does she live in Madrid? Now let's have a look at the answers to these questions. Do you speak French? Yes, I do, or 
No, I don't. Does Agatha live in London? Yes, she does. Does Victor live in Madrid? No, he doesn't. In English, we don't normally say just yes or no. We say yes, I do, no, I don't, or yes, he does, no, he doesn't. Now, do you remember the numbers 1 to 12? Of course you do. We studied them just a few lessons ago. Well, today we are going to continue up to 30. So after 12, we have 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. Now, do you hear how they all end in teen? That is why we use the word teenager for kids aged 13 to 19. Then we have 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and 30. Unfortunately, I'm not a teenager anymore. Are you? How old are you? 18, 34, 72? <laughs> You're never too old to learn a new language. Elena is in London learning English. Hmm, sounds good, right? But in the winter months, it is incredibly cold in London. That's why she needs a new coat. Do you know the names of the months in English? January, February, March, April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Which month is your birthday in? Mine is in July. I love July. The lovely hot weather and my birthday. Lucky me. Well, we've run out of time. The lesson is finished. See you next time. Happy studying. Bye. Elena has a big date next Saturday. Oh, really? Um, I'm meeting my classmate. Yes, her classmate Chong is in London. <laughs> Does he look like Bruce Lee? Chong? No, not really. <laughs> well, Victor, why don't you go along with them? Yes, you can come too. Uh, I can't, sorry. I'm uh, going away for the weekend. You are? Mm -hmm. I am. Where are you going? I'm going to Boulogne. Uh, where is Boulogne? It's in France, on the west coast. Oh, who are you going with? I'm going with my classmates, Harry and John and Sam, if he's better. When are you leaving? Uh, we're flying Friday night. Oh, that would be nice. Mm -hmm. And where will you be staying? In a hotel? No, uh, Harry's mother has a house there. Oh, well. I hope you have a good time. Thank you, Agatha. I'm sure we will. When are you coming back? We're coming back on Sunday afternoon. Marvelous! I just had another great idea. What is it? <laughs> well, why don't you bring Elena along too? She can still get a cheap ticket. Oh, but um, it's impossible. Yes, impossible. <clears throat> Why is it impossible? You'll have a lovely time. Lots of fun. <laughs> I, I have to work on Saturday, and I am meeting Chuan, too. Oh, that's right. Mm. Trat. I forgot. What a pity. Mm. Yes. Sorry, Elaine. Oh, oh, it's okay. Well, maybe next time. Mm. You are going to look spectacular <laughs> on Saturday. Huh? Just spectacular. Thank you. <laughs> oh, Victor, mm -hmm. can you buy me some of that lovely brie in Boulogne? 
There's this enormous market there. Of course. Anything else? Well, <laughs> actually... No, 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 I won't have much time for shopping. What else are you going to do there? We're going to see some buildings and uh, galleries, and if the weather's nice, I'm going to do some drawing. Oh, I want to see your drawings. Oh, uh, sure. I can show you the ones from school today. Oh, tomorrow, please. I'm very tired now. Oh, sweetheart. Go and get some rest. It's a big day tomorrow. <laughs> yes, if you like, I can take you to school in the morning. Oh, thank you. That is very kind. Okay, bye. Don't you I say can't anything. I believe. Hello? Hello, Harry. It's Harry. Hello, sweetheart. Good night, Agatha. Hello there. How are you? I hope you are ready to speak some English today. So, in our story, Elena and Victor are talking about their plans for the weekend. As usual, Agatha is trying to get them together. Hmm, better luck next time, Agatha. Today, we are going to study the present continuous tense, like, I'm having my afternoon tea. Mm. We'll look at how it is formed and how it is used. Then we'll look at ordinal numbers. First, second, third. Is this your first lesson? So, you are a new student. Welcome to this English lesson with Gabrielle. Sound good? Let's get started. In the sitcom, Agatha said, I'm meeting my classmate. And Victor said, I'm going away for the weekend. These are both examples of the present continuous tense. It is used to talk about definitive future plans when you've already decided something for the future. We form the present continuous with the verb to be and then the verb plus ing. We often contract the verb to be, so I am going becomes I'm going. Gabrielle, where are you going next summer? Mm, I'm going to Greece with Dylan, Jade and some other friends. Mm, I can't wait. See, this is a plan I have for the future. Is he eating at Sam's house tonight? Yes, he is. Or no, he isn't. This is one reason we use the present continuous. The other reason is to talk about something that is happening now, in the moment. I am talking. You are listening. We're talking. We aren't singing. Well, that could be a good idea, actually. Are we studying Japanese? No, we aren't. So, it's very important to remember. We use the present continuous to talk about things that are happening now and things that are planned for the future. Now, when we write verbs with ing, we sometimes have to change the spelling of the verb. For example, sit becomes sitting and stop becomes stopping. If a verb ends in a consonant plus a vowel and another consonant, you have to double the final consonant. Make becomes making. Because if a verb ends in E, you have to remove it when adding ing. For example, leave, leaving. I'm leaving in the morning for Copacabana. Oh, wouldn't that be lovely? Right, now I'd like to know something about you, 
I told you a lot about me, my family, my future plans. So, what do you normally do during the day? Okay, first you, oh, wake up, morning. Second, you get up. Third, you get dressed. Fourth, you uh, have breakfast. Or maybe the other way around. Fifth, you probably go to work. Or maybe you do the shopping. So, did you notice we are looking at the ordinal numbers? First, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, etc. These are very easy. You simply add TH after the number with just a few exceptions. First, second, and third, while five becomes fifth. So we can say seventeenth, eighteenth, nineteenth, twentieth, twenty first, thirtieth, and so on. Easy, right? Finally, I want to look at dates. We say June the second or June second, May the eighth or May eighth. My birthday is on July the thirtieth. When is Christmas Day? December twenty fifth. When is New Year's Day? January first. I wonder if you can say the date today. I bet you can. Okay. Well, that's it for today. Well done, and I'll see you very soon. Have a good time, whatever you are going to do. Bye.